Okay, so now we need to head back to the village right quick. Whatever it is, crazy Tracy rubs on you. Yeah. <clears throat> then we just need to make a quick stop at the library. get there. Now obviously we didn't get the magic sword and stuff. Because, you know, the way I do these playthroughs, we want to go through the stories and stuff. I'm sure everybody doesn't want to see me running around frantically and semi-hopelessly trying to find all the hidden items and things. So, one of these... No. No. One of these contains something. Dark secrets? Oh, here we go, yep. So this is the path we have to take through the egg. Just marking it down here. This book reeks of secrets. Ew, stinky with secrets. All right, now we can head to the egg. I think the quickest way to get there is just by going out the village, which actually I need this for. And then we're gonna wake the windfish and discover whether the mystery of the island disappearing is true or not. According to legends that we're hearing from certain enemies, which is kind of confirmed by like various um, ancient ancient carvings and things we're finding around the island, it seems to be confirmed by that as well that it's a wish. Or rather, not a wish, but a dream of the windfish itself, this whole island. Which brings a lot of uh, Zelda lore into question, if that would be the case. Does that mean Link is just a figment of the windfish's dream? Or was he transported to the windfish's dream somehow and trapped within the dream? Either way, that seems odd to me. Let's see what's going on for real, Z. Oh! We have... I think we played this. Now we get to hear the full song. This was something. When I first heard this, I'm coming out of my little Game Boy speakers. The time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. 
when fish is egg. Okay, so left, left, up, right, right, up, left, up, oh damn. We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Oh, rumble. Is this hurting it? Try the fire. I don't like, it's hard to tell whether my sword is actually doing it or is that the wrong thing? The only thing that seems to be doing anything. Unless. Aha! doesn't like the magic powder. Oh. It's showing its face again. Oh. What's this? And <laughs> somehow it deflected it, yet it still hit me. It's the agonim fight from the last game. Except he's not shooting those annoying blue things. Oh, but he does try to go right on top of you. And no lightning either so far. Oh. Okay, is that that phase done? Looks like. Oh, and now we got a Moldorm phase. Luckily, there's nowhere for him to knock me off. Should probably take my shield out. I could have switched to the red tunic for this fight. Oh well. The blue tunic is serving its purpose. How many hits does, Mul does this version of Muldorn take? Frankie. Another one, another one. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Now what do we got? Oh, it looks like Ganon. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no. Does this one need arrows now? Magic. Arrows or magic? Let's try arrows. No. Let's try magic. Okay, so when he throws his uh, sphere, or his, 
his sphere, his his halberd looking thing. Oh wait, maybe. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's that I have to do the spin attack. Okay, wait for some of these birdies to be gone. I mean, baddies. Like, you sure you're not Ganon there, Mr. Nightmare, sir? You sure resemble this guy I once knew. Actually, several, several guys I knew. Oh god, that's not the end? Ah, so the wand did come in handy. Oh! <laughs> Slightly the music got more serious. Let's use my thing to jump over. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. Oh. Ouch. I got crazy, crazy lotion still. There we go. It's like a Goma fight, almost. Some sort of twisted, you could almost say nightmarish version of a Goma fight. Open your eye. Only got 18 of those left. I hope that's enough. Oh, he's changing where it's doing, where his hands are meeting. Oh, I missed. Not good. Oh, 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 and now I'm getting cut up. Oh, my goodness. Open your eyeball, please. Thank God for the lotion. Gotta stop trying for two. <laughs> now what? Hook shot? Could open its eye a little bit more. That'd be that'd be fantastic. No, hook shot's not working. Great. Oh, and I changed the wrong item off. This doesn't look good. Goma fight. Try this again. Get some more potion too. This time I'll be more patient with my arrow usage.
Oh my god. is just a bad idea. Oh my god. Hate when his arms are like this. How many hits does this guy take? Oh, I hope it's not more than eight more. Otherwise, I appear to be fucked. Oh, god damn. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Larry, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Young lad, I mean Larry, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wrecking havoc. Then you, Larry, came to the rescue. The island... I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Larry. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Hello there, Mr. Windfish. I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end, and I dost awaken. Cool, it will be gone. Only the memory of this dream and land will exist in the waking world. Someday, thou may recall this island. That memory must be the real dream world. Come, Larry, let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. We get to hear the song again? Goodbye, everyone! Sorry for making you vanish! Into the ether! We have fun, though! <laughs> he 
likes his mushrooms. Kind of reminds me of your certain other character who likes mushrooms. Huh? What? We've actually just been passed out on this log the entire time. But we learned a lesson. That's the important thing. <coughs> and, oh, and we didn't drown. We also did not drown. That's a good, that's a bonus too. You gotta like not drowning. Rub's eyes. What? The w wind fish? It, it was... Was it really real? Or was it a dream? This end scene adds some... And some speculation to that. How did the wind fish go to our world? Or is that just a whale that can jump really freaking high? Let me know what you think in the comments. Until then, I hope you join us on our next Zelda adventure. Thanks so much for joining me in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs>